let's talk about the arsenal pack that has just come it consists of 3 6 8 players not a very good pack i will say decent pack for new users but if you have good 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 players good good special cards then i don't think you have to go for this pack if you are an arsenal fan you absolutely have to go for this pack but if you are not an arsenal fan then i won't suggest you to go for this pack but let's review which player you should go for and which player can be effective for your squad so first of all here is the orchestrator Jorginho as you can see his overall rating is not that good only 95 but if you watch his individual stats individual defensive stats these things are quite good first of all talking about his offensive stats as a midfielder he got ball control dribbling tight possession good good things low pass over 90 lofted pass 89 i don't think lofted pass is not that much effective uh, for a defensive midfielder okay and also i don't know what's the use of pinpoint crossing in a defensive midfielder they always give pinpoint crossing to defensive midfielders like bro give it to the actual wingers like Ansu Fati, gabriel martinelli no they will give pinpoint crossing to defensive midfielders by the way his kicking power is good and Having a good kicking power is a good thing for your DMF. In the corner, he will be outside the box and there is a chance to shoot a banger. Now talking about his defensive stats, which is quite attractive. Defensive awareness is 88, but other defensive three stats, defensive engagement, tackling and aggression is over 90. In spite, defensive engagement is 95. It's quite good. I haven't trained him. I have got him. I have the spend like 100 only, one try. I have got George, you know, I have tried him untrained George, you know, he is not that good to be honest. I think it's just because he is untrained. Otherwise, if he is trained, fully trained and uh, fully you give proper progression points, I think he will be quite a beast. His stats say so. So, he is a good card overall, I would say. If you are a new user, then you should go for it. But if you have orchestrators like Kimish, then other good good orchestrators, then I won't suggest you to go for this card. Overall, it's a good card. Now talking about the second card, Thomas Partey, whose overall is 96. He's a box-to-box. -box. To be honest, personally, I don't prefer box-to-box -box players in midfields. I don't know why, but I don't like box-to-box -box players that much. Basically, in defensive mid. In defensive mid, I prefer if you are using two defensive mids, one has to be anchorman. And the other can be anything like orchestrator, destroyer, box to box, anything. But still, I don't use box to box. I prefer orchestrator or destroyer or any other. Some build ups like Marquinhos. Marquinhos can play as a center uh, defensive mid as well. So, coming back to the point, Thomas Partey stats. Very decent stats. His center mid stats are quite good as well. Low pass, lofted pass, 84. Tight position is there. Speed is there. That's the thing that attracts. Speed is there as a defensive mid. Kicking power is 95. More than Ronaldo. Ronaldo's uh, player of the week card has like the most uh, best kicking power. It was 94 or something. This guy got 95 kicking power. That's a good thing. And in real life, if you talk about Thomas Partey, it's always about physical contact. He's strong. So here, physical contact is good as well. He can bully opponent's midfield. Stamina is there. You can use him for full 90 minutes. Talking about defensive stats, defensive awareness and defensive engagement is below 90 but tackling and aggression is over 90 that's a good thing defensive stats are quite balanced overall it's balanced good card but as far as i know most of the football users don't like to use box to box and uh, as a box to box dmf as a dmf i don't like box to box players box to box can be used as a cma for in wing you can use them too but as a dmf nah I won't prefer using a box to box. Coming to the third card, which is the best card in this pack, Gabriel Jesus, 99 rated. Stats look beast, and I think he will play like a beast. His previous card was so good that 99 rated nominating contract card was so good. So this card will be good as well. Talking about the stats, as a proper striker, as a proper goal poacher stats, you have to have offensive awareness, you have to have kicking power, you have to have finishing. He has everything. He got overall dribbling and his acceleration is 94. That's a good thing. Balance is 98. Probably the most balanced player in game. 
this is probably the most balanced card 98 the bad thing is that his physical contact is only 70 and he hasn't got gamesmanship as well so he will fail to win fouls lots of fouls but if you have extra gamesmanship skill then and you got uh, Gabriel Jesus then use that gamesmanship skill to Gabriel Jesus he's gonna be a beast his stats are saying so so acrobatic finishing chop turn cut behind turn first time shot heading he has everything a striker needs so without any doubt he's the best card not only in overall rating but also other stats is the best card of this pack talking about the fourth card which is the worst card of this pack Rob Holding Contact is not there and also gamesmanship is not there so it will be a little bit tough. His defensive stats are not that good so I will suggest you to not use him in left back, use him in either left mid or center mid. I think he will be a proper good left mid because he is a full back finisher so in center mid he won't be that much effective. He has pinpoint crossing with 85 lofted pass. That means he will be a good crosser if you are into crossing then use him. Coming to the next card which is Aaron Ramsdale, 96 rated overall, his skills are only captaincy and low point as his stats are also not that good and his height as a goalkeeper is bad as well, 188 is low as a goalkeeper. As a goalkeeper, I prefer it to be over 190 or 192, otherwise don't use him. I prefer tall goalkeepers. His only GK reach is over 90 and others are below 90 so I don't think he will be a good goalkeeper. His jump is 89. You have to put progression over his jump as his height is not there. He is not a good card at all. I, I don't like that card. Now the another interesting card Tommy Asu. The defensive fullback. Very few card who is defensive fullback in this game. Tommy Asu is one of them so if you get him just take him and you can use him also he's a defensive fullback you will stay most in the defense his stats are not quite impressive because uh, we have already got his big time card so his this featured card stats is not that impressive but as you can say tackling and stamina is over 90 and other things are also there 87 speed jump phys physical contact is there that's a good thing defensive stats are quite average i will say as a defensive fullback if he was like offensive fullback then it was okay stats are okay but as a defensive fullback defensive stats are quite okay okay he can play as a center back as well so i don't like that stats now coming to the last card of the pack, one of my favorite players in real life, Gabriel Martinelli. Proper good winger, Brazilian winger, youngster only 21 years old. His overall is 97. As you can see as he is Brazilian, so dribbling will be over 90, everyone knows that. Speed is quite good, speed acceleration 93-95. He is fast as hell. Kicking power is okay, okay. But uh, talking about other things, finishing is bad and other things are bad too. Physical contact is only 63, but positive is he has gamesmanship, so you can win a lot of foul with him. Talking about skills, cut behind turn, then uh, Martial turn is there. Uh, the only bad thing I think is track back, because most of the users will use him as a left wing rather than a left mid. So as a winger, if you use him as a proper winger, left winger, then track back skill is very bad, very bad. As a left mid, it's okay, but as a left wing, it's bad. So that's it for the day, uh, that was my short review of our Arsenal pack, hope you like it, like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed the channel.